Turtletail is a tortoiseshell she-cat with green eyes and a stumpy tail. She was born to an early generation of the tribe of rushing water and was named for her unusually short tail. She was best friends with Greywing and was known for being sharp-eyed and swift. As she grew, times were tough in the mountains, and the tribe cats were struggling to feed themselves. The tribe's healer, Stone Teller, had a dream about a new home for some of the tribe cats, and Turtletail enthusiastically volunteered to go. She was part of the group that set off for the new land, following the sun trail that Stone Teller had dreamed about. Greywing had originally decided to stay behind, but he caught up to the group with his younger brother Jagged Peak, and Turtletail was overjoyed to see him again. She hoped that they'd become mates one day, but she didn't realize that he harbored feelings for another cat, Brightstream. They eventually found a new home on some moorland near a forest, and life was good there. One day, Turtletail and Greywing were enjoying a walk together when they met a kitty pet, a she-cat named Bumble. Bumble and Turtletail were curious about each other's strange way of living, and began to meet and become friends. Greywing didn't like the idea of Turtletail becoming so friendly with a kitty pet, and the two quarreled about it. Meanwhile, he met a rogue she-cat, Storm, and began to fall for her. Turtletail was hurt seeing this, and decided to leave the moor to join her friend Bumble as a kitty pet. A few moons passed, and Storm became mates with Clear Sky instead, before leaving his group to raise their kits alone in the two-legged place. One day, Turtletail saw that Storm's den in an abandoned two-legged building was being destroyed, and she went and found Greywing for help. The queen died as the den collapsed, but Greywing managed to save one of her kits, who Turtletail suggested be named Thunder, after his mother, Storm. She went back to her two-legged nest as Greywing brought the kit to meet his father, Clear Sky. Leaf Fair arrived in the forest, and Turtletail spent the whole season comfortably in her two-legged nest with Bumble. Their two legs brought a new cat named Tom to stay with them. He was friendly, and Turtletail thought that she could move on from her feelings for Greywing and start a new life with Tom. However, when she became pregnant with his kits, both Tom and Bumble seemed to act strangely whenever she talked about the kits. Eventually, Bumble confessed that, as a kitty pet, Turtletail's kits would be taken away from her to be brought to other two legs as soon as they were old enough. Turtletail didn't want that to happen, and she felt betrayed that Tom and Bumble had hidden that information from her, so she decided to go back to her tribe mates on the war. She was welcomed back, especially by Greywing, who had come to realize how much he'd missed her. Turtletail feared that she wouldn't be able to contribute as much as she once would have been able to, but Tall Shadow tasked her with being the one to watch over the hollow. Turtletail gave birth to her kits. Owl Eyes, Sparrow Fur, and Pebble Heart, which is when Greywing finally realized the depth of his feelings for her, and they became mates. They lived happily as a family for a time. Turtletail saw her friend Bumble twice more. The first time was when Bumble came to ask if she could join the group in the wild, since Tom blamed her for Turtletail leaving and was hurting her. Tall Shadow said no, so Bumble went to live on her own and was eventually found dying by Turtletail after she'd been attacked by a fox. They were able to reconcile with each other before she died. Turtletail's past wasn't done haunting her. Not long afterward, Tom made his way into the forest, looking for her and Bumble. They sent him away, but when her kits wandered out of camp during Windrunner's kidding, he found them and brought them with him back to Two-Leg Place. Turtletail ran after them, but sadly she wasn't able to rescue them. A two-legged monster hit her as she was crossing a thunder path, and she died. Lightning Tail and Thunder found her body afterward. They laid her to rest under a bush of flowers, and were able to find her kits and bring them home. They said farewell to both her and Windrunner's kit, Ember Kit. Turtletail joined her ancestors in what would later be named Star Clan, and cared for Ember Kit there. They first appeared to the living cats after the terrible battle at Four Trees, and together they passed on messages to them, such as, Unite or die, and You must grow and spread like the blazing star. She also visited Greywing in a dream to tell him that she was happy that he had met Slate and wasn't lonely anymore. When it was finally time for Greywing to join the spirits, Trittletail was one of the cats there to greet him. Her last prominent roles came when the clans got their first medicine cats in Nine Live Leaders. She was the cat who told her son Pebbleheart that it was his destiny to care for the cats around him, 
to become the first medicine cat of Shadow Clan. And during the very first nine lives ceremony the forest had seen, she gave Windstar one of her nine lives. It was a life of stubbornness, to keep going in the face of trouble, to be determined, just as Turtletail had always been. Turtletail died too soon, but at least she got to know happiness before she was gone, and she was a prominent member of what would eventually become the warrior clans. <laughs>